Yo, 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 it's David down at Crosstown Chrysler in Edmonton, Alberta. And from the used car superstore is this 2015 Dodge Dart Rally in billet silver metallic paint powered by the 2.4 liter Tiger Shark multi-air four-cylinder engine underneath the hood. Come to the front here, you'll have projector style halogen headlamps lighting up the road in front of you. Turn signals are right there, and there's two fog lamps on the front bumper. There's honeycomb inside the grill. Dark styling touches in the front looks good. Nice Dodge badge there. It's a good touch. Very aggressive styling on the exterior. And that's one thing I love about the Dodge Dart. Come to the side here. This Dodge Dart is running on Kumo Solus mud and snow tires with plenty of tread on there. You'll surely have lots of traction. And they're on a 17 inch rim, great looking rims, color matching door handles on the outside on all four doors and both driver and passenger side door mirrors are color matching and they are breakaway and these are hidden mirrors as well. Open up the driver's side door here. Here is the driver's side door panel. It is two tone colors. Storage down below with a cup holder. Nice leather padding here for your arm to rest on. This has power mirrors, power windows, power locks with the window lock. Driver's side window is automatic. And right here is the logo for the Alpine sound system, reminding you that you have great sound quality inside this car. This has a leather wrapped steering wheel, feels great in your hands. It is a tilt steering wheel too. This has automatic headlamps so you can set it and forget it. Press this button here, that will turn on the fog lights and there's dimmer knobs right there. There's a directional air vent, which you can close and open. Driver's seat is manual adjustment. This has cloth seating throughout, adjustable headrests on the front seats, and this has adjustable seatbelt height. So depending on how big or tall of a person you are, you can adjust the seatbelt height that you're most comfortable inside this Dodge Dart. And there's two big cup holders in the middle with bubbles to hold your cups into place. The handbrake is right here. Nice chrome touch. Nice lip padding in the middle here for arms to rest on and you can move this forward and backwards and this lifts up and this is a large storage area and there's a 12 volt DC power outlet in here and there's a USB port and an auxiliary port connected to your media. If you have a cord coming out of here, run it along the side here so when you close the lid it doesn't crush your cord. And this has an automatic transmission, manual adjustment rear view mirror and this does have a power sunroof up top. Let's go take a look in the back seat area. All right, here's the back seat door panel. There's a cup holder down below, nice leather padding, power window switch, two tone colors looking sharp. There's tons of foot room in the back seat area, along with plenty of headroom. Handles in the back seat area that your passengers can hold on to in case the ride gets a little bumpy. There's a fold down armrest here in the middle with a storage compartment right there and there's two big cup holders there's access into the trunk so if you're a skier you can haul your skis inside this dodge dart and go to the mountain in the winter time and do some skiing adjustable headrests in the back seats too pull this flap right here and the seats fold down is a 60 40 rear split setup when all the seats are folded down it gives you a lot more space to haul bigger things inside this dodge dart push this back up and it easily locks back into place. There's a pocket on the back of the driver's seat. There's a cell phone holder right here. The interior lighting up above. Push either side with your hand. It'll come on so you can use the interior lamp as a breathing lamp too. And there's hooks by the handles which allows you to hang up nice clothing. So if you need to go to a nice event, you can hang up your clothes so they don't get all wrinkled. Come to the back here. This has racetrack style tail lamps. So at nighttime, when you turn on your headlights, this entire light bar will light up with LEDs. And it looks absolutely amazing. It looks modern and very unique. Dual exhaust tips out the back with chrome around them. Looking good. Nice badging, Dodge Dart Rally. Excellent. This is the key fob. There's an unlock button, a lock button, and a panic button. And you pop it in the trunk just by pressing this button twice. Boom.
just like that. Let's go take a look. Back of camera is built into the trunk right here. There's lots of space in the trunk for many different things. You have some heavy duty mats back here. Pull this flap, there's a spot for a spare tire and there's lots of storage space. There's a little access port into the back seat area. Load up luggage, tools, groceries, you name it. Dodge Dart has tons of space in the trunk. And this easily closes back up very easily, just like that. And to use the remote start system, it's very easy. All you gotta do is press this button twice, the doors will lock, and then the dart will start right up. Boom, just like that. And there's small mud flats behind all four tires. This is where you put gasoline inside the Dodge Dart. Cup holder down below. Nice place for an arm, power window switch, two-tone colors. Pock on the back of the passenger seat too. This side also comes down very easily. Just pull the flap here and it comes right down. Push it back up and it locks right back into place. Back seat is a very comfortable place to be and so are the front seats. Front passenger side here, storage down below with a cup holder, power locks, power window switch, nice leather padding, looking good. There's a directional air vent right here, which you can close and open. There's a lower glove box down here, and there is tons of space in here. Look how far my hand goes down. Crazy. There's also a convenience light in there so you can see what you're doing at nighttime. That's okay, that's just an airbag warning. You'd have that out, or you can just leave it in there. There's a little pocket on the side here for anything small, and the passenger seat is manual adjustment too. And when it comes to safety, this has a driver and passenger side airbag. There's airbags built into the front seats. There's side curtain airbags and more. Lots of safety built into this Dodge Dart. Let's hop inside and take a closer look right now. The remote start system aborted itself because the Dodge Dart has low fuel. So if you remote start the Dodge Dart and fuel is low, it'll only run for a short time before it shuts itself off because the Dodge Dart wouldn't want to run you completely out of fuel. That is a really nice feature to have. Otherwise, to start the car, even if the remote start system has been activated, you grab your key fob here, which has a nice Dodge badge on the back, and you go over to the side here, push it into the ignition, and if the remote start system was activated, just turn it on, but since it's off, just go to start, and it starts right up. The tachometer, the speedometer, the fuel gauge, and the temperature gauge, very easy on the eyes, and it's nice to look at. It's going to remind us that fuel is low, that's very handy, and there's a little light that comes on right there, and this Dodge Dart only has 23,782 kilometers on it. Not very much at all, so come on down to Crosstown and take this car for a test drive. First thing you'll notice are the piano black styling touches on the dashboard with a nice red outline. It looks very good, and there's nice leather padding on the dashboard with nice stitching. It's a very good design. And using buttons on the left side of the steering wheel right here, we can go through the driver information center. And the first thing you'll see is that there is an outside thermometer. You have a digital speedometer. You have a trip B calculator. Hold this button right here. You can easily reset that. It tells you how far you've driven and the time you've been driving for. You have your fuel range on your tank of fuel. Fuel is a bit low at the moment, so I can't quite calculate that for you. But if you have a full tank of gas, it'll surely tell you how far you can go. Average liters per 100 kilometers, that is your fuel economy. Hold this button here and you can easily reset that. You have your current liters per 100 kilometers. Tire pressures for all four tires. Very handy to have a tire pressure monitoring system. And oil life, excellent. You have settings, you customize the screen here. And back to our main screen. And if you open up any door on the Dodge Dart, I'll let you know which door on the Dodge Dart is opened and I'll even tell you if the trunk is open too. There's a nice big Dodge badge in the middle here with of course a horn. It's a very loud horn. Cruise control on the right and behind the steering wheel. There's steering wheel mounted audio controls that allows you to adjust your volume, go through your presets, and so much more. This is a voice recognition button and a Bluetooth button. Press this button here. Cancel. 
Using voice recognition, you can tell the GPS navigation to find a certain address, which is really cool. And if a call comes through the Bluetooth system, you can answer the call just by pressing that button right there. Down below here, you can turn off the traction control. You have your hazards. There's a tuning knob, browse button for your audio, volume knob, power button for your audio. There you go, it shuts it off. You know, press the gang, comes back on very easily. Climate control down here, air conditioning, recirculate button, front defrost, rear window defroster, made the temperature warmer, made the temperature colder, adjust your fan speed with this knob right here, press that button and it'll turn it off. 12 volt DC power outlet down here, lots of storage space. Throw the Dodge Dart into reverse, the back of the camera appears on the touchscreen Uconnect system, giving you a great view of what's behind you. Having a backup camera is the best. You have your manual shift mode right here, so you go down and up gears very easily. There's also a little pocket on this side as well. Of course, directional air vents in the middle, which you can easily adjust and you can close and open those. And this is the touchscreen Uconnect system. It has AM, FM radio and Sirius XM. You have access to a mini map connected to GPS navigation right here. You can direct tune into a specific radio station that you want to listen to. It tells you a song and the artist that's playing in the middle of the screen, you adjust your audio, balance fade, equalizer, speed adjusted volume, surround sound mode, and more. Presets above, hold the box with your finger, you can easily set a preset. It tells you the time there, the outside temperature, and what the temperature is set on the climate control. Player here, so if you have something plugged into the USB port, the auxiliary port, or a Bluetooth device connected, go to the player here, choose the source, and you can listen to music through those areas. This has heated seats up front and both seats have a high setting and a low setting. Great to have in the winter time. And you can turn the screen off if you don't want to look at it, touch with your finger, it comes back on. Touch screen climate control here so you could do some down below or you can just use the touch screen. And then on the touch screen, you can just adjust where you want the air to go. You can adjust the fan speed, set the temperature, turn on air conditioning, rear window defroster and more. GPS navigation area right here. View the map, it gives you a great view of where you are, and you can zoom in and you can zoom out on the map. Press this arrow here, you can go where to, put an address, I'll show you how to get to where you want to go, search up points of interest, and more. Bluetooth area here, would I like to pair a phone? That's okay, I'll let you connect the phone and you can hands free calls. So everything you do on your phone, like call, you do hands free on the touchscreen Uconnect system right here, as you pair more than one device. Settings for touchscreen Uconnect system and the Dodge Dart, so you can customize this car and have the way that you want it to be. And if I turn up the volume here. Oh yeah. Alpine sound system sounds great. Definitely rock out, have a good time while I drive this dart down the highway. Oh sorry, I gotta get back to the car here. Oh, you know what? This puts the power button. There we go. It's off. There's reading lamps up above here. Fold down sun visors with convenience mirrors, with convenience lights, so you and your passenger can look at yourselves at nighttime. These are break away, and they do slide. And they easily go back. Handle here for the front passenger, and even you, the driver, have a handle that you can hold on to. And there's buttons right here. For the power sunroof just press it once and it automatically opens right up it lets in lots of fresh air and lots of sunlight and there's tons of visibility out the front window this is a very clean car with lots of technology that is fun to drive and it's fuel efficient and it looks modern all right i'm going to tell you one more time this is a 2015 dodge dart rally in billet silver metallic paint powered by the 2.4 liter Tiger Shock multi-air four-cylinder engine underneath the hood. It has Bluetooth connectivity. It has a power sunroof, GPS navigation, Alpine sound system, an automatic transmission, remote start, keyless entry, LED tail lamps with racetrack style lighting. Boy, this car is an absolute blast. And you know what? I hope you like my accent right now. I'm trying to an extent. I mean, I could cry harder, but you know what? I'll just go back to my regular voice. It's down at Crosstown Chrysler. Book a test drive today. Iron Man David, and I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah.